Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with your precision forecast. Well, as you notice, the breeze this morning was still a little chilly, and we thought, oh no, is it going to be the same type of weather we had yesterday? But it really turned out to be nice. When the breeze is coming out of the southeast in the morning, it can be fairly strong at times, and it makes it feel chilly. But remember, a morning southeast breeze will always be combated by what wants to be a northwest breeze during the afternoon. So it'll either slow down the southeast breeze or shut it off or maybe even shift it to the north and west. So what happens is you get a little bit of a change in there. Today turned out to be really nice. Let's take a look at the high temperatures across the valley and across central Idaho as well. Ah, yes, look at these temperatures back into the 50s. We've been up to 56 as far in Boise, 57 Ontario, 53 in Twin, getting to the 30s and 40s in central Idaho. Really turning out to be nice this afternoon. And like I said, if you'd like today, wait until tomorrow because the temperatures will continue to rise and even the light breeze we have won't be all that bad because of bright sunshine. I mean, vivid sunshine through the day tomorrow. My pick day of the week by far, though. I don't want to say by far because Saturday is going to be pretty close uh, as well with some really comfortable temperatures coming in. So here's the current readings. We're in the 50s. Notice the clear skies, 53 and twin. Cloud cover way to the north. Really not much going on. Tomorrow, this will be crystal clear as well with no real big change coming in with the cloud cover. We're just talking, keeping it clear. And the future cast, as we look ahead to the day, this is this evening. Now you see mostly clear skies and not showing. Well, there's a few clouds up here as it's showing. And you'll notice as you move through the next 24 hours, not a big change coming in. High pressure is going to start building in. The warmth will start to slide in from southwest to northeast. The only cloud cover we can see is well up here to the northwest. So pushing through Friday now. This is early in the morning Friday. Now as we go through the day, there's a chance that this is by Saturday, I should say, in the afternoon. Notice the cloud cover to the west. I think we're going to escape most of Saturday, keeping it bright and sunny. So you see here towards the afternoon hours, though, there's cloud cover for eastern Oregon. Baker County, you won't have that same type of weather. Twin Falls, you're almost guaranteed to have sunshine from start to finish. But here in the Treasure Valley, I think we'll have sunshine most of the day. You'll see some of those high clouds creeping in. And we'll start to see some rain and even snow snow showers in the mountains well to the west in the Cascades. Now, as we head towards Sunday, that's when the changes begin to occur. Saturday night, a better chance for more cloud cover coming in. And then Sunday, some rain and snow will be flying in the mountains. So Saturday, I think, will be much better than Sunday if you're looking for sunshine in Idaho's central mountains. In the Treasure Valley, yeah, there's a chance for a sprinkle or two. I tend to think more of just some cloud cover coming in as this system weakens as it moves through. So Saturday better than Sunday. And Friday, I think it'd be even better than the day on Saturday. All days, we're going to keep the mild temperatures around, though. Let's take a look at that forecast now. The forecast map shows jet stream just to the west. And remember, south of the jet stream, that warm air starts to build on in to the north of the jet stream. That's the cooler weather. So it'll be cool and showery along the coast, but above normal temperatures, warmth coming in to the northwest. Beautiful weather indeed. But notice the jet stream over the weekend starts to sack a little closer. That's what will bring the cloud cover in, the cooler weather to the north, the warmer weather down to the south. And so it's going to be beautiful down around the four corners, Utah, Southern California, real nice weather. But we're going to start to see a little bit of that change. And that's going to be important as we head into the weekend or after the weekend, we'll start to see a better chance of some showers coming. Again. So mid, low to mid 60s tomorrow. A southeast breeze will be noticeable. Maybe cool in the morning, but it will be a very pleasant and bright sunny afternoon coming up tomorrow in the Treasure Valley. Some real nice weather coming in. West Central Mountains, I think it'll be a cloud-free sky. What a great day to go skiing tomorrow in the afternoon. Look at this. Donnelly 50, McCall 47. 56 in Garden Valley, near 50 in Pine and Featherville. So sunny and very pleasant. Same thing, Stanley Sun Valley. You'll have sunshine from start to finish as well. Sunny and pleasant of the Magic Valley. Temperatures 55 to 60 and just a little bit of a breeze. Not bad weather for pretty much everybody. My persistent extended forecast, the best days will be Friday and Saturday. Again, if you're looking for sunshine and milder weather, if you're looking for showers, because you know we need the moisture, yeah, we have a better chance coming in as we head towards the day on Monday and Tuesday and then again on Thursday. But look at that. Even with the showers, notice the high temperature aren't really getting that cold. So this mm. is the jet stream's near us, just enough to bring some water in, but not enough to really shoot the cold air in and drop those temperatures that much. So and Saturday we spring ahead. That's right. So That's it's gonna feel even more like Springs yeah, a way. sign of good things to come, maybe? Could be. Yeah, but we'll look at that long range forecast coming okay. up about, about 16 days, see if we can hold on to some decent weather. All okay. right. Thanks, Scott. Okay. Coming up next on.